Boom Day for me, it's important for me because I'm still here to tell my story and I'm still here to watch my kids grow up. And my kids ask me loads of questions and I answer them, but I don't tell them exactly what happened and I won't do that until they get older. So I've just been down to London with my family and my girls to celebrate Boom Day and to show the girls what daddy used to do before he got injured. London, it was nice, but it was very, very emotional. Showing my girls what I used to do and me watching myself what I used to do, it was very emotional and it brought back a lot of memories. I can't believe it's been 12 years since I got injured. We went out on a, a fighting patrol because the Taliban were moving into the village and we had to go and push them back. So we went on this 52-man foot patrol. I was the third to last man. And we come across everything. But there was something just not right. I could feel something on the back of my mind that something weren't right and something was going to happen. We were walking up like an, an alleyway. All the locals were looking over the wall and we got to the top of the alleyway and one of our mastiffs, what got blew up a week before, all what were there with the wheel. And they'd made an IED out of the wheel. And so we could, that means we couldn't remove that because if we'd have moved it, it'd have gone bang. So we carried on walking through the poppy fields and the interpreter were listening to the Taliban on the radio and they were saying they've got us all surrounded, they can't go anywhere. And it was like, something, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen, I don't know when, but something's gonna happen. And we were getting into a stream and I was the third to last man, like I said, and they were an IED to the right hand side of me, so it was just on the edge of the water and on the banking. And I got in. The guy behind me slipped. I've turned around to go and help him because out there you don't, re you can't really think, you just want to make sure you, your friends are all right. So I've turned around, as I've turned around, I've stepped on the IED. I've heard the click. I heard the bang. And then the next thing that threw me 15 foot in the air, I landed back back first in the water, all the water come over my face and I tried my best to get my head above water and I just couldn't do it. I don't know what had gone on, uh, I was conscious and my life just flashed before my eyes because I was drowning and I was like, I need, to get, I need to get out, I need to get out, I tried my best, I couldn't, could not do it. But then the guys have come up to me, dragged me out, sat me on the side and said, Dave, don't look down. I went, what are you on about? Don't look down. They said, just don't look down. And they're putting the tourniquets on me to stop the bleeding. And I've looked down to see what, see what were happening. And as I've looked down, my legs were gone completely. All what were left were my shin bones. And as they were putting the tourniquets on, my shin bones shot off like two bullets coming out of a gun um, because of the pressure. And then while they were doing that, I felt pins and needles in my arm. I looked at my arm and my arm was just dangling, just being held on by its tendons. There's, there's, the arm itself had been degloved, so the skin was dangling at one side, my, my bones were dangling at another. And I had a big hole in my armpit as well where something had gone up there and hit me. Um, where that, I class I was pretty lucky because I could have lost the, the hole in my arm. At, at times when my life was flashing before my eyes, I thought that right, I thought I weren't, I weren't going to come out of there alive. But I did. And I met my wife and I had my kids after I was injured. And now, 
I, I just want to, I just want my kids to, we want to go get out and I want to show them the world and I want them to like realize what they've got. And I want them to look up to me and say like, they, so they know if anything does happen in the future, that they can pull through it like I did and they can carry on with their lives. Nothing can hold you back.